Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome into For The Love, the best place on the planet to buy vintage electronics and where all of our products are SPEN certified. Today, I've got this Panasonic DVD recorder. This one's a really hot item, a lot of people love it. It's got that name brand Panasonic, so you know it's something reliable. But the model number is DMR-ES15. This thing's gonna be great if you wanna record just TV shows while you're gone, or if you just wanna transfer something onto DVD and save it that way. But let's go ahead and talk about it. On the rear panel of it, you have your power input right here for connecting a power cord, and then you have RF input and output, or the tuner for connecting it to your cable television, and then you've got component output for DVD playback or just for playback of your TV and then you've got S video and composite video output as well as audio right here that's that's how you'll connect it to your TV generally and then you've got an input right here for recording onto the DVD and then you've got an optical digital audio output and this was manufactured in March of 2006 and then on the front panel of it you have your power button right there then right here this door folds open and you can connect a camera right there you've got s video and composite input as well you can just you can transfer directly from a camera onto the dvd or you can connect any device that has the composite or s video and then you've got channel up and down open close stop play and record so let's go ahead and get it all set up to get it connected for playback, all you have to do is connect your power cord and then connect the red, white, and yellow cable to the output on the back. Once you have it all connected and the TV is set to the correct input, you'll get a signal to your TV. So let's just check out the DVD playback and then we'll show you the recording process. And this is the original remote control for it. It's got a bunch of different options on it. Alright, so that's the DVD playback. So let's go ahead and record. And this machine will do any format that you want to use, you can use with it. You can do RAM, R, RW, plus or minus. We're gonna use minus RW. And with the RW, you can keep re-recording as many times as you want. With just the R, you can only record once. So that's something that you'd wanna save. With the RWs, you'll probably be recording TV shows or that kind of thing with them. All right, so it loaded the disc. Now what we have to do is go to the menus. So we'll do, we'll hit stop on the remote. And then we'll push functions. And then we'll go to other functions and then DVD management and then format DVD. So we'll We'll let it format, and then once it's done formatting, we'll be able to record. And the way that we're going to record is using a VCR. Normally you might be recording from a cable box or something else or a camera or something, but just to demo it, we're going to record from VHS onto DVD. So we've got it connected through the line input composite. So we'll go to the, we'll exit the menus. And then now we'll put a tape in. So the DVD recorder is already set to the correct input, so it'll play it fine. And then all you have to do is push the record button on the remote, and then it'll start recording. 
And then as soon as you're done recording what you want to save, you can just hit stop and then it will save it to the disk. All right, and then once it's done saving it to the disk, you can go back to the functions and you wanna make sure that you do this step because if you don't do this, the disk won't play in other players. So we'll go other functions and then DVD management and then finalize. So it says it'll take about nine minutes. So yeah, just make sure you finalize. If you don't finalize it, you won't be able to play it in other players. And also if you're just recording on a minus R or plus R instead of an RW, you wanna remember those will fit generally about two hours of recording. So you can adjust the recording speed if you want as well, but you can make it so it fits one hour or eight hours. But if you want eight hours, you'll have lower quality. If you want one hour, you'll have better quality. And then, yeah, if, if you're using a, just to record once, you'll probably want to fill up the disc all the way to two hours before you decide to finalize it. That's pretty much all the basics of this Panasonic DVD recorder. It's an overall excellent device. It'll be extremely reliable. But if you're looking to get one, make sure you get it from us at forthelow.net, or you can give us a call and the phone number will be down in the description. Thanks for watching.